Welcome back, everybody, to Don't Starve, Reign of Giants. My name is Bear. We're here with Wendy, and things are going pretty damn well. I'm cautiously optimistic again about our status with this particular endeavor. Our new resurgence with Don't Starve, Reign of Giants. I don't know why I dug up that berry bush, but I guess I can replant it over here. That was kind of a waste, actually. <laughs> I think I need to go get some more manure from the beefalo friends that I have down there, but I think while I'm doing that, I may very well be interested in getting some beefalo wool from them as well. So let's see if I can make myself a razor here. I'm pretty sure I have the capability of doing so. I'm not really sure where that is, actually. I think it might be in science? Let's have a look in the science category. This might be uh, where we find it. Although, while I'm here, I should also construct a drying rack and maybe even a, uh, what was this called? A freaking crockpot. There it is. Making some cut stone is entirely possible given the amount of resources I have here. So let's do that. Let's make ourselves a crockpot and a drying rack. And those should be some pretty worthwhile upgrades for the little campsite we got going on here. Our, our humble abode, if you will. Do I want to make anything out of the crockpot right now? I think I've got some meat somewhere. Perhaps in the chest. Oh, it's in the icebox, I bet, actually. Oh, no, we don't have any meat at all. We gotta fix that, don't we? Let's see if I can just make myself a nice heaping amount of berries inside of here. And having them in the icebox is, of course, a good idea still. Keeping these nice and fresh. I probably just want to put the rest of them together. There we go. Improve the overall status of the berries within the icebox. That'll work. Then we want to make a drying rack here as well in case we get to the opportunity to have a bunch of rabbits trapped and consumed later on. We've just got to go with the fact that uh, I, I unfortunately have to go against wife Taffy's wishes. Because the rabbits, they're just the best way to do it, man. And we can't ignore that anymore. They're just so handy. How can we ignore the fact that the rabbits just provide me the most consistent form of food? It's unfortunate, but it's the truth. And we gotta, we all gotta let her know. Y'all gotta be on my side, man. You gotta be backing me up here. You gotta tell her, look, this is the most reliable means of surviving, of not starving, and that's the whole point. We gotta do it. We gotta do it, man. We gotta go with that strat, so I ain't gonna feel bad about it no more. Picking up some seeds on my way down here is probably a good idea as well. I forgot this freaking razor. Nah, whatever. We'll just get some manure this time around. And then uh, I think the strategy here is gonna be make a bunch of traps, come on down this way. There are definitely some more... Uh, some more rabbit holes to be found. In fact, I'm pretty damn sure there's a whole bunch of them just right over here nearby. Yeah, look at all, look at all this. Can we even just make them right now? I wonder if that's a possibility. Let's see. Where would those be? Probably survival. Yeah, we can. Oh man, we can just make three of them here. Let's do it. And then we'll probably spend a little bit of time after this going down and uh, picking up some twigs and such. Making this magic happen. Let's go ahead and bait a couple of these as well. They'll probably get eaten by the birds around here, but... Yeah, it's worth a shot. Ooh, more beefalo! I haven't even been up here yet. This is beautiful. Hey, we are finding the gold mine up here. Beefalo and rabbits for days. Nice. This is excellent. Oh, I'm excited about this. There's some spiders here as well, unfortunately, but that's not that big of a deal. So we're going to be setting all kinds of traps in this area. Hopefully we can get a whole bunch of rabbit meat and be uh, providing ourselves with some material for the drying rack as well as some stuff to fill in the crock pot. That is fantastic. I am hoping that they got a lot more manure over here as well. Very good. Very good, very good. Look at all those beefalo. Oh my god! It's the full herd! This is so good! I am so happy about this. They look like they're aging. Or maybe that's just my computer screen. I have no idea. It looked like they had some gray hairs going on over there. I had no clue, but... Oh my god, that was fast. Alright, well there's the first one. Then we can just set that trap back down. Very good. Can we do anything else with this besides just get the get the meat from it? Luckily, we don't have any kind of grotesque imagery that is uh, associated with that apart from the little... There you go. That's pretty close. <laughs> That's exactly the sound they make. That's a, looks like a little trail there. Trail there. A little track, rather. A little, little animal thing going on in the pathway. Oh my god, they are... They are defecating upon the Pig King's throne! How dare you, sirs! Defecating upon the big king's throne. He will have your heads. He probably won't. He's very lazy. He probably won't do anything about it. He probably likes that, actually. That might be considered a gift to the pig king. Hang on a moment. Can I give the pig king a pile of shit? 
Literally. Would he be down with that? I should probably refertilize this berry bush. Let's be let's be nice. No, you don't want that. I I thought maybe I thought maybe you would ex express some interest in a in a literal pile of feces, Mr. Pig King. But I suppose not. I should also be wary of the fact that I don't think I have the resources to make a torch here. So I might consider making campfire number two. But let's instead just go get some twigs somewhere real fast. Uh, where can I get some of those? Let's go this way. I apologize if you've been yelling at me to make some torches here, but we do have another one that's fully prepared for the night, so I think we'll be okay. In fact, I think one torch might survive the the oncoming nightfall. Let's not panic about it in that case. As soon as I get this twig, that should allow me the opportunity to make a torch. Well, we have one more if we need it, but for now I think we'll be okay. Pig lights are going off. Where do I want to go around right here? Uh, we found a whole bunch more beefalo, so obviously that's a good thing. We got a few more manures so we can fertilize some of the berry bushes that we created over here. I think finding some more twigs is probably the best thing I can do right now. Considering the overall benefit of those items, I probably need to go down to this forested area. So let's head over this way. Let's just assume we'll be able to make it through this nightfall with a couple of torches on hand. And uh, I think we'll be okay. Do they have, uh... Do these beefalo have fly strike? Is that is that what's happening? Are they actually diseased? That would be really unfortunate. That would make me sad. Oh, poor beefalo. Hopefully that's not the case. I'd like to steer clear of diseased beefalo meat. Oh, it's another full moon! Okay, so you guys told me about this. You told me there's something we should do over in Gomer's statue. And that's over here, I think. No, there it is. Let's head back that way. The full moon at Gomer's statue. I'm wondering what effect it has on the beefalo as well. I feel like there's, uh, very likely some negatives associated with the full moon, considering it provides me with a pretty hefty benefit of not having to deal with the nightfall. Let's go find out. I love their snorts. Can't imagine they're able to sleep very well with all that noise going on. They're very rude. Very inconsiderate of the Pig King's time as well. Okay. Oh! Hello. Glomer, aren't you a happy little fuzzball? Die! Oh! They don't like one another. Hello. Oh, hang on. Do I really want to do that? Hold on a second. What happens if I unequip this? Pick Glomer's statue. It's a flower. What can I get rid of here? Uh, oh, goodness. Oh, no. Oh, God. Glomer doesn't like what I've done. Glomer! It's okay, buddy. No, don't, don't, don't stress out over this. Oh, the mushrooms are going up as well. This is a very evil place. I don't like what's going on over here anymore. Goodbye, Glomer. Don't mind me anymore. Please leave. Please go away. I don't want to fight you. Can I fight you? I don't know if I can. I don't know if I'm capable. Tell you what. Here's what we'll do. I'll keep baiting you over this way. Yep, he's coming. All right. I'm going to bait you down here because I know that there's the swamp creatures and the pigmen that inhabit this area somewhere. In fact, I should probably figure out where that is. It's somewhere close by. Was that over here? No, that couldn't have been over here. Could it? Let's keep going this way for a little while. I think it was in a swamp land. Clomer, you little dope. Making things so complicated right now. There's another one of these things as well. Ooh, some meat! Oh, here they are! Yeah, this is where the eternal struggle goes down. Alright, so... Oh, the fish creatures... They don't like... They don't like me. They they dislike me a lot more than they dislike Glomer, apparently. But the raccoon wasn't his friend. wonder if I can get this combat to go down again. Oh, man, he is persistent. Raccoon, buddy! I need your help. Wait a minute. Oh, he's just following me! I'm an idiot! He's, he likes me. Oh, I thought he was chasing me down. He's a cute little guy. Now that he's my friend. Hang on, what happens if we drop this? Zit. What? He wants me to pick it up. <laughs> I am so confused by this guy. Okay, let's go back to camp. Hold on, I gotta keep this in my inventory though. So I'm gonna swap this out. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna cook this up and put it in the crock pot at some point. Probably make some nice, delicious meatballs. I've got plenty of berries as well. We've got a good supply of food. So that's good. 
And hopefully we'll be able to make some more rabbit traps. I gotta gather twigs as well, so we should probably do that a little bit as we go. Oh, but I gotta... Hmm. What can I swap out here? I don't know. I know, man. I know. Calm down. We're gonna drop this for now. You are freaky as hell, dude. I don't know if I like you anymore. I want Chester back. Can we have Chester back? I liked Chester. He was... He was a lot more adorable than Glomer. I am full of emptiness. That doesn't even make sense. Uh, let's go back to camp here. I'm gonna pick up as many twigs as I can find along the way so we can create some more rabbit traps. I do have the gears I should consider putting away as well, unless there's something else that I can maybe utilize that for pretty quickly. Uh, there's a few more twigs here. This nightfall isn't gonna be so bad. I'm glad that we got another full moon there. That was convenient. We figure out what what's going on with Glomer. What's going on with Glomer, the new reality show on NBC? Alright. Made it back, made a pig, uh, pig plant, an eggplant, rather. Very good. Uh, let's see, what else can we do here? We can probably make a fire. I wonder if fire scares away Glomer. Luckily not, okay, good. Uh, let's see, we could also make some jerky out of this meat. That's probably not the greatest idea, though. Let's go ahead and cook it. We'll cook this along with some berries. Glomer, could you just shut up for a minute, dude? Shut up! Shut up, Glomer! I don't need to hear it right now. Got another rabbit. Beautiful. I need to chop down this tree. It's just getting in the way. Hang on. Hang on, buddy. This is just... This is just an eyesore right now. We'll probably make some jerky from this rabbit as well. The music's starting to play, so that makes me feel better about the situation. It makes me feel like I'm not doing something horrible. Pick this trap up, set it back down. That's, uh, that's done pretty well for us thus far. Alright. Sorry, buddy. It's the nature of the species, buddy. Survival of the fittest. Alright, we're gonna have these delicious meatballs real fast. Because I am hungry as hell. We got a meat... Oh, God, I can't... It's an eggplant, dude! You know what that is. You have a history with it. Let's cook this up along with the three, uh, the three berries, the three amigos here. See what we can make out of that. What's your deal, dude? Do I need to kill you? <laughs> He's trying to tell me something. I have no idea what the shit he wants. Mom, are you weirdo? I'm just gonna assume everything's okay. Dude, you, yeah, there's there's something seriously wrong with Glomer here. I'm kind of terrified of what's gonna happen at night. Uh, let's see. What else can we do with this? Flower of the night. What about Abigail's flower? Abigail is ready to play. Hmm. Tell you what, I have an idea. Let's bring these over here. Ooh, what's that? Delicious. I wonder what we've made. I'm gonna put these in the farm here. Can I not? Uh-oh. Did I already plant some seeds? I must have. Okay, let's go ahead and bait this thing, and then we'll just put some other ones down on the ground, because we'll find some more later. Clear up that inventory space. We got a dragon pie. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Right, let's put these away. Uh, what can I replace? I guess I can take the gunpowder on my person. Well, that doesn't really help me out then, does it? Let's just put the... Well, you know what? Tell you what. Let's look at the uh, science and alchemy machines real quick to see if I can use the... God, shut up, Glomer! Shut up! I know something's wrong. I'm trying to figure it out, goddammit! If you just relax, maybe we can figure out what the hell's wrong with you. Weird creature. Okay, uh, gunpowder we could make if we had the right things. We already have some gunpowder, obviously. Uh, what else uses gears? That's what I'm looking for. An ice fling matic We can make that. What else have we got? Divining rod, obviously a good option. Science machine, don't need to make another one of those. Uh, let's see, survival, there's probably some cool stuff we can make. A straw, oh, we should probably put some fuel in the fire, actually. Hold on. Get a nice fire burning through the evening here. God damn it, Glomer! Would you calm down, man? Uh, let's see. Siesta lean to. Escape the heat to restore sanity. Oh, I see. That's a summer thing, isn't it? Uh, insulated pack. Ooh. Alright, let's just put the gears down and we'll figure out something to do with them later. They're not going anywhere. Okay. I need to plant these pine cones. I need to make some more inventory space. The other thing I wanted to do is, uh, put those two flowers down next to each other. Let's see what that does. Should probably also eat this dragon pie. Yum! Oh, wow! That was great! That restored everything! Holy shit! What a wonderful creation I made! Alright. I'm gonna put this down over here. And we're gonna put Abigail's flower down next to it. 
He really likes his flower. Okay. There we go. Oh, easy go, boy. That's better. That's better, buddy. Now you know what you're doing. He's finally gathered his thoughts. Alright. Well, we figured out how to calm down Glomer, I guess. Let's see. We don't need to make a straw roll tonight. What else can we do here? I think I should consider making a, uh... I should consider making one of these two, and either an opulence or a luxury of these two things. Let's go ahead and make a luxury axe. That's a pretty worthwhile upgrade, and then we can just uh, use the rest of this axe here to chop down this big ass tree. There we go. We'll swap that out, equip this thing. Might as well finish it off. And we'll probably make an opulent pickaxe and just have that available in the inventory too. Actually, we don't really need to do that just yet. Let's hold off until we uh, until we go do some mining. We're going to plant a couple more pine cones down over here. Yep. Yep. Hey, that was a pretty quick evening. Cool. Alright, so, clearly Glomer just sticks with his flower. It's actually, I imagine Glomer would fight anything that comes around here, so maybe it's not a bad idea to just leave that there. <laughs> he really wants it. Hang on, what if, we, what if we pick this up and give it to him? I wonder if that works. No? Alright. So we're going to leave Glomer's flower here. I don't really know what else to do with him. Abigail's flower is over here as well. Let's do that. He's a good defensive mechanism, I think. I imagine he'll fight on my side considering he hasn't tried to kill me yet. That's kind of how I base things. If it doesn't try to kill me, it's on my team. That's the rule of don't starve. And life, I guess. Alright. So we've got some stray grass around here as well, which is pretty good. I think I need to go get some more twigs. Twigs are going to be the story of my day today. Twigs and grass for to make rabbit traps. And then we will venture down and pick up some meat. Hopefully we can make some more dragon fruit. That was pretty pretty uh, freaking awesome. Oh, we have some manure to fertilize this. Apparently I did plant some seeds in these farms. I just didn't realize it. So many automatic procedures these days. Right, it's good to keep the spears on me. Let's put these berries in the icebox with the others. We can actually just make some... Uh, let's just go ahead and make some jelly jam or whatever the hell it does. We might as well put these to good use while they're just sitting around here. Alright, one last one. Ba-boom. And there we go. Cool. We do have quite a bit of food, actually. It's good to have this icebox. I really like that. It's pretty sweet that it doesn't need electricity to operate, too. Do we want to kill any of the bees? Oh, yeah, that's right. We got the manure to fertilize these things as well. Sweet. That was the whole point of doing that. Man, I'm so glad I remember things as I pass them by these days. Alright. There we go. We need a couple more manure, and uh, you know what? I should try to build the razor. I don't remember where it was. So let's see if I can make the razor go down there, wait for the nightfall, and then shave the shave the beefalo. Got ourselves a fistful of jam. Save that for a little while. Let's go ahead and make another one while we're just sitting around at the campsite. I think these berries can still go bad, even though they're in the ice box. So that kind of worries me. Oh, come on, buddy. There you go. Where was the razor? Where was the razor? Let's find out. First of all. Log suit is probably a good idea as well. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and make one of those just to have it on hand. And, uh, what else can we do here? Survival was another thing. Is it in here? We can make a healing cell. We got a spider clan. That would be very good. Thermal stone as well is a good option. In fact, I should probably make a thermal stone and then make an opulent pickaxe. That's a good option. Let's do that. We'll put that down right by the fire so we can have that for later. It's good to just make preparations. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, homeboy? Got another fistful of jam. We can add that to the inventory. Where in the hell is that razor? Is it in the dress? Maybe. Hang on a second. I think it was at the bottom of something. An eyebrella. Oh my god. That's horrifying. A bear of a vest. Hibernation vest. That sounds good. Oh god. Alright. I am so sure that it's somewhere in here. Where are you, razor? Why can't I find you? Why have you gone away? Do 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 do. Tools? Maybe? There it is! There it is! You stinking little thing. Alright, now we got a razor. Good. I was gonna make an opulent pickaxe, but that can wait. There's a lot of bees nearby. Holy shit. Are they expanding? Maybe this wasn't the best place to nestle down. That's kinda scary. Oh, I should've taken my other fistful of jam. Oh well. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this one now. I think I'll eat it now. Twig time! Yes, we want to find a whole bunch of twigs. I probably should dig up some twigs so I have a bunch nearby. I'm pretty sure I don't have to fertilize those either. 
That's probably a good idea. Evening is already upon us. We do have the shovel on hand. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Stick some of these up. Yeah, that's a good call. And then we won't have to, uh, separate those needs. We can just dig up any twig plant we see. We can get both the twig and the plant to come back with later. Hello, little mole guy. That's adorable. Alright. I think I have a plan for tonight. We're gonna go dig up some twigs. Any ones that we find, rather. Oh, shit, I'm going the wrong way. I don't think I need to dig up any more berry bushes. I think 12 will suffice. 11 or 12, I can't remember how many we had exactly. Should be good, though. There's another sapling, beautiful. Sapling, that's what it's called. I'm learning stuff. Learning about nature and things. Do I want a spider's silk web? Probably. We did drop that earlier. I was trying to make some inventory space. Doing pretty damn well right now, though. I'm gonna eat these berries, because why not? Get ourselves back up to about full strength. I uh, wanted to head over to the beefalo, but I was also thinking I could probably find a lot more saplings in this area. Indeed, I am correct, apparently. I wonder what's in the middle of all this. Oh. A pond. Alright. Answers that question. In an unfortunate way. Still answers it, though. Sapling number two. As soon as we get over here, I, it's uh, it's probably going to be halfway through the evening fall. Evening fall. The hounds are baying. Oh, shit. You're right. That's not good. Maybe we should go back over to Glomer. Yeah, the hounds are coming. This is not a good idea. We shouldn't be uh, wandering around alone at night. I don't have anything to offer the Pig King either. God damn, you guys are encroaching on his territory, though. They do not like the Pig King being here. I do. I'm a big fan. I'm pretty well prepared to deal with the hounds if they come. I know, uh... I know I've got my spear and my log suit, and I'm at nearly full health, too. So that doesn't really concern me too much. Let's go see if our uh, rabbit traps have caught any prey yet. Pretty sure, yeah, it does show me on the minimap icon, so there we go. More manure. That's always good. Lots of uses for manure. You'd be surprised. We're finding a lot of ways to make this beefalo shit work for us. Okay, we caught a couple of rabbits already. That's fantastic. Oh, the hounds are baying. Oh, man. I wonder if they'll, uh... Oh, oh, don't do that. Definitely don't do that. We should not equip that before I didn't make any critical mistakes here. Right, we're gonna set this trap back down and get the other one as well. Oh, man, these guys are, uh... I just realized if we leave these traps out and don't harvest from them, these, these rabbits are, uh... These rabbits are not gonna be in great shape. I mean, they might die, but... I don't know if that's really that big of a concern for me. Where's my other trap here? Let's go ahead and head back down to the south. Maybe I should make my way back to Glomer. Just to be safe. I didn't realize the hounds were going to be coming today. It is day 12, I guess. I don't really know what that means, though, by comparison. I should probably pick up this rod as well. It's pretty useful. Oh, boy. Okay, there's a hound. We got a torch. Uh, I don't really want to deal with you. Oh, God. Okay, let's just run back to camp. Run back to camp. Here we go. Glomer! Glomer! Here, boy! <laughs> Come help your mother! We need some assistance! Oh god. Ooh, there's a little hat! Oh, that's interesting. Alright. We're just gonna run back. Run on back now. Might be able to make it through the night, but I'm, I'm gonna need Glomer to take care of this problem for me, of course. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh no. Are we going the right way? I think so. Yeah, alright. We just gotta go straight. Straight up north. A little bit to the left. Come on now. Alright, there we go. We're on the road. On the road again! On the road back home! We're almost there, buddy! Almost there, back to Glomer's safe buggy eyes! There we go. Oh, we're making it. Oh, we're making it back home. Let's put this torch away before I light anything on fire as soon as this daytime comes around again. Okay, Glomer, you gonna help me out, buddy? What the hell is that? Glomer's goop! What have you done? Glomer! Hit him! Why are you just sitting there? What if I pick this up? Will you do something then? No? Alright, well... Hang on, I guess I'll handle this myself. He's, he's kind of like- Oh my god! Whoa, whoa, what happened? What the shit? Dude! Abigail! Oh my goodness, he killed Glomer! Attack him! Yeah! That's my twin sister, Abigail. Whoa! Oh my god! What is this? Dude, that was, uh... 
That was an experience and a half. Glomer's wings. Whoa. That was very interesting. Dude, Abigail. Apparently, okay, so I guess the death of Glomer triggered the appearance of Abigail. Interesting. I'll have to play around with that next time here in Don't Starve. Thanks for watching, guys. We got a very interesting setting point for next episode. I'll see you then.